what would your advice be? Somebody goes to a, an oncologist and gets the diagnosis of cancer, and oftentimes, at least from what we hear, is that, hey, it's a good thing you caught it now. We can start you on treatment uh, next Monday, next Tuesday, right away. We think you should start. What advice would you give someone who gets that diagnosis that's probably panicky and scared? Um, what, what sort of things would you advise them to do? Well, the first thing, and the most important thing, is to get more than one opinion. Right. I would say at least get three, maybe four different opinions from oncologists. Uh, I can't tell you how many times we've had patients come in and one oncologist says one thing, another says something different. Uh, for instance, one might say, you should get treatment right now. Mm -hmm. The other one says, you know, we can wait and just monitor your condition. Right? Uh, one oncologist might recommend uh, a certain sequence of treatments or a certain dosage of a medication. And another one, you know, might even call it dangerous, right, because that might be too aggressive for their body. I mean, these are the kinds of things that we see. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of different situations, right, but, and it really depends on each case. But we've seen these kind of things. These are things are more common. These things are, are pretty common in general. So uh, definitely, you know, you have to get a wide range of opinions. And, you know, if you get that green light, for, for all my patients who get a green light to uh, wait and watch and monitor their tumor, uh, there's nothing passive about that, right? That's really, I call it, it's a golden opportunity. That's an opportunity to uh, aggressively tune your metabolic landscape, um, boost your immune system, right? Change your diet. Uh, do all these things that make cancer, make your body a, a very inhospitable and even a hazardous place to can for cancer to live. And I think when you do that, um, some very interesting things can happen. Um, and these are also the same things that people have to know about in terms of conventional treatment also. Even if, you have to, even if uh, you're scheduled for conventional treatment uh, very soon, I mean, there's things that you can do to, to decrease the strength of cancer cells, right? To increase uh, chemo sensitivity or radio sensitivity. Um, these things are important because you really, with conventional medicine, it's really important to get the least amount of damage uh, for the most amount of benefit. So um, people need to know that these things exist especially before they get uh, that diagnosis when and if it comes.